wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dreaded e Rose report. Let's see what other kind of uh, little silliness I have found here uh, of news of wrestling. F4W Online reports that uh, John Cena has another medical evaluation uh, scheduled for Monday, I guess, and that's going to confirm his status, whether he's going to be in hell in a cell or it's going to be Ryback. Several uh, different scenarios have been uh, discussed the past few days, so we'll see how Monday goes. In a possible spoiler, though, CM Punk cut a promo at the beginning of last night's uh, WWE Super Show in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and told the fans that he's going to be defending, uh, defending his title against John Cena in Hell in the Cell. So, we'll see. By the way, the first ever Ryback versus Punk match uh, took place last night at WWE Super Show in Jonesboro. Uh, Ryback won the match. Via DQ, though, after Punk slid out of the shell shock and hit him with a low blow. Well, Punk declared uh, himself the WWE champion before finally catching the shell shock to end the show. Uh, fans reported uh, from the match show that it was mostly back and forth with uh, both superstars taking control of various points in the match. It appeared that there was a lot of brawling that went on outside the ring, though. But I still say there, there's going to be, with Punk and Ryback, going to be a lot of DQ matches or uh, draws or whatever because they want to keep Ryback on that roll of uh, winning. First ever TNA Hall of Fame tonight. Induction is going to be uh, taking place from the uh, Point Hilton uh, Resort in Phoenix, Arizona. Sting's going to be inducted. The best we know is going to be, she's going to be inducting uh, Sting into the Hall of Fame is Dixie Carter. And there's rumblings that WWE superstar Christian or Lex Luger is going to be inducted in, but uh, Christian's appearance may have been mixed. I don't know what the, went on there. Uh, not sure, but um, we'll hope to have, you know, I'll have more Monday anyway on it. Uh, the highlights uh, likely won't be available until after, uh, until Bound of Glory is over with on Sunday night's pay-per-view. Are you getting it? Sources close to Jerry Lawler notes that uh, he will indeed be at the WWE SmackDown tapings in Memphis, Tennessee on Tuesday night. Lawler is going to be uh, just likely backstage visiting, but may appear off camera for the crowd. And as of uh, today, WWE and the FedEx Forum is not advertising Lawler to appear, though, uh, because I think his voice is still messed up. Man, when they do that tracheotomy thing, and you know, it's you're, it takes a long time for your voice to get back. You kind of have a sort of a whisper, like a Clint Eastwood thing. Hey, Ray Mysterio is not working uh, the weekend shows, uh, the super shows anyway. He's missed uh, Tuesday's SmackDown taping. And uh, Team Mysterio on Twitter, though, noted that uh, he was suffering from stomach flu, so don't hit him in the gut no matter what you do. With that going on. And noted yesterday, though, concerns over him uh, at Raw uh, when he was uh, returned backstage limping, I guess. Uh, last... Uh, Last night's Super Show in Jonesboro, though, Rey Mysterio was replaced by, of all things, Brodus Clay. Clay teamed up with Sin Cara to defeat uh, Sandown uh, Rhodes. Happy birthday to one of our favorite wrestlers, Mike Drosy, or Duke the Dumpster Drosy, 42 years old. And today also would have been the birthday of WWE uh, uh, famer, Hall of Famer Killer Kowalski, would have been 86. Speaking of Clay, which we did for once, uh, he's featured as the uh, new hot pocket in the new hot pockets ad with former uh, employer Snoop Dogg. Didn't he change his name? Snoop Lion or something? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, the new uh, NXT Diva Summer Rae worked as a referee last night at the NXT live events in Largo, Florida. TNA uh, star Chavo Guerrero says. WWE Intercontinental Champion The Miz was recently talking trash about him. Chavo is looking for a fight the next time he sees The Miz. Chavo tweeted, uh, just found out about the big talk dollars uh, and The Miz, uh, you know, talking smack about me. I'm going to destroy him the next time I see you. Not. WWE Creative Source notes that John Cena's injury and his status for Hell in a Cell being unknown has caused a lot of stress backstage. You know, doing the, hey, I, by the way, I'm uh, watching CM Punk's. Uh, that's what got. Uh, I'm watching CM Punk's DVD. So far, it's been interesting. I haven't got through the first disc yet, but uh, just got a hold of it. And it's really, it's a different side of CM that you don't see. He just went through a lot. 
Oh, well, by the way, after the uh, win over Tidsai on uh, last night's, uh, Monday, well, SmackDown, world champion uh, Sheamus says he has no problem with picking the big man up. He said, I threw that uh, lad Tensai, 360 pounds, uh, up on my back like a sack of coal, uh, no bother. And uh, Big Show is 441. Hmm. Evan Bourne has stepped up with his uh, physical therapy and hopes of returning to WWE ring soon. And uh, he noted on Twitter that he's still limping. And as you can see uh, on the photo online, Bourne still a ways from returning. Boy, he's he, uh, he's a high flyer, but man, he needs to stay grounded a little bit more, I think. World uh, champion is Sheamus. He's going to be uh, appearing at a few upcoming car shows. Houston Autorama, uh, November 25th, uh, Houston, Texas. Cavalcade of uh, Customs, uh, January 11th next year, Duke Energy, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And as seen on last night's SmackDown, the team of Slater, Mahal, picked up a win over Ryder and uh, Santino. Uh, the band's leader, Slater, promised more from the group via Twitter. He says, I've told the universe that we're going to take, uh, take over week by week. Superstars, watch out. CM Punk was uh, replied to a photo and a message from The Rock, I guess, that The Rock tweeted uh, to him on Friday to hype the Royal Rumble. I guess Punk tweeted back at him. I'm easy to find, Dewey. Our truth AJ Lee is going to be appearing at Wilson Gray YMCA, Hartford, Connecticut, October 21st. Uh, JBL is um, uh, posted the following comments, I guess, on Twitter after last night's SmackDown with Josh Matthews. Uh, he said, enjoyed SmackDown so much, I just uh, may come back. Josh Matthews says, uh, should give his suit back to the uh, organ grinder monkey he stole it from. All joking aside, he said, hiring uh, Josh Matthew Matthews was like losing uh, five good men. <laughs> hmm. All right. Now that SmackDown's over, he says, I'll wait and see uh, all, to who all have got, got to apologize with uh, tomorrow on my Facebook page. After uh, being attacked by Kane, Daniel Bryan, on uh, last night's SmackDown, the article of his teasing that announcer Matt Stryker uh, may return to the ring. He told WWE.com, he said, I'm having trouble turning my head right now, and there's a few pins and needles running down my left arm. And he said, I've trained, uh, been trained by the Hall of Famer Johnny Ross to take lumps and bumps but never complain. Uh, WWE Superstar is the toughest man and women on the planet. I uh, will handle this uh, in a way professionals would, and uh, I can forgive, but the fighter in me won't forget. Randy Orton, uh, he's the superstar on the Spotlight WWE website today. And a little reminder, I guess, uh, David Otunga and the Hornswoggle is going to be appearing at Six Flags of America in uh, Gurney, Illinois, today, 3 o'clock, an hour from now. WWE uh, talents, uh, developmental talents, uh, Jay Bronson and Dean Ambrose apparently had a Pretty insane uh, and intense match last night at uh, NXT taping in Largo. Uh, Rollins and uh, uh, Cassis Ono, they uh, mentioned that uh, Dean Ambrose and Bronson uh, beat the hell out of each other uh, last night. Nothing cooler than passion people and people creating art. Art? WWE has an article up looking at Dolph Ziggler's recent uh, promise for Hell in a Cell. Ziggler declared a week ago that he's going to be walking out Hell in a Cell as new world champion after cashing in his Money in the Bank uh, briefcase. Uh, WWE website speculates he may cash it in even before then. Could be just kind of throwing us off. Former uh, Divas Trish Stratus, she's uh, giving away signed copies of the WWE 13 video game and her movie Bound, uh, Bounty Hunters. And she did a pretty good job in that movie, actually. Uh, wasn't in it. Well, she was in it quite a bit, though, if you haven't seen it. Uh, details on the contest are on her uh, Facebook page. JBL landed, uh, or rather headed to South America in 13 weeks to begin climbing Mount <sighs> Conjugal? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. A kind of go. Uh, anyway, nicknamed Mount Death. Uh, WWE DVD. I'm glad he likes doing that. He'll do it for me. W. Pardon me. WWE DVD News. 
uh, reports that the name of the upcoming Raw DVD that uh, comes out in December is now going to be called The Top 100 Moments in Raw History. It features about 100 moments countdown to compete, uh, can, you know, to compete the three hour 1,000th episode, I guess. Uh, or the complete three hour 1,000th episode. Of that. Well, then we already seen it, haven't we? All right, we're going to try this again now. Hey, Jeremy Borash revealed on Twitter that the uh, finalists of TNA's UK Boot Camp reality show are heading to Phoenix for Battle for Glory festivities, and it's possible that rock star Spud, Marty Curl, and the Blossom Twins may uh, uh, be on one of the pre-shows or actually uh, the pay-per-view itself this weekend. Hulk Hogan made uh, claims this past uh, in the past that even as recent as uh, the past week that Mickey Rourke's role in The Wrestler was originally written for him. Ooh. Uh, the wrestler director, uh, Darren Arnosky, uh, shot down those claims on Twitter. He said, for the record, the role of the wrestler was always Mickey Rourke. It was never Hulk Hogan, as he claims on Howard Stern. And, uh, and what was it? Now, Mickey Rourke didn't do the, the Hogan sex videotape, though. That was, that was actually Hogan. Uh, anyway, and what was uh, to be a disappointing news going into the biggest event of the year, Thursday's episode of Impact Wrestling drew... 1,818,000 viewers for a 0.86 rating. Comparison, the vice presidential debate drew 51.4 million viewers and the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Tennessee Titans NFL game drew around 5.6 million viewers. Uh, the 2011 Impact episode right after, or right before Bound for Glory drew uh, then last year, 1.44 million, uh, while uh, 2010 drew a 1.73 million. So it's on a steady decline. Of course, you never had the Steelers playing and the Titans, and you didn't have the, uh, I would guess, not the debate on the same time either. Never know. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.